Happy Friday, everyone. All right, after last night, there may be an extra reason we all need a pick me up this weekend, <laughs> but I'm not going to say what we're talking about. I'm just going to let Greg help us. Don't cry. <laughs> oh, man. Don't cry. I know, it's so tough. Don't so speak tough. of the unspeakable. We won't talk about that. We all know what we're not talking about, so we won't do it. We're going to do half glass full. Okay, all there's, right. There's fabulous things going on in town. Here's the advantage of what happened last night. There's an advantage, yes, and it's this. If they hadn't lost, then yes. we'd be all attached to our couches all weekend. That is true. Really giving a darn about basketball. <laughs> But now you don't have to give a darn about basketball, and you can go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather we're going to have this weekend. That's how you do a silver lining, Greg Kirk. That's what I'm talking silver about. Silver lining. That's right. We're always keeping it up. <laughs> keeping it optimistic. The weather's going to be perfect. We're talking 60s or 70s and 80s yep. all weekend long. Uh, so we've got the 4th Avenue Spring Street Fair. Yes. Which is perfect, because you can go out all three days. All and, three days? Yeah, you can go out today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And you know what I love about the street fairs? They keep the same hours all three days. 10 to 6. You don't have to go, now what is the hour yeah. on Friday? Well, is that different than Saturday? Oh, I don't know what's happening on Sunday. It's 10 to 6 all three days. And of course, it's free to, to go hang out down there and enjoy some of the live you know, entertainment that'll be going on. They got all kinds of street performers and musicians. But then look at all the cool stuff they sell. I mean, if you want to find some cool gift ideas for the hard to buy for people in your life, yeah. Fourth Avenue Spring Street Fair, do it. Because we got that one nasty day weather day out of the way this week. Right, so it was and it wasn't even that bad, by the way. I mean, I still wore my boots again. <laughs> <laughs> you were excited because you got to bring out the boots one, one more, more day. One more day. That's right. Bring them out. Now you got the pseudo boots. These are, this is, this is cold weather boots. This is, we're kind of still chilly. Look, the, the toes are open. The, the toe. So, I got a peep going. There's a peep toe. <laughs> a little peep toe. If you want to know what the weather's like, just look at my shoes. There you go. Yeah, no forecast required. It's right there. On my feet. Have you heard of anime? Do you know what yes. anime is? Okay, so the Japanese style yes. uh, animation. Huge. huge. Yes. And it's gotten really big here because we have a huge festival that happens. Yes. It's the largest anime convention in Tucson with vendors, raves, anime cafes, and you got to love the name. Konnichiwa. 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 Right. Say so it all kind together. Of a, uh, a little play on words there. That's what I was going to say. It's like a collab <laughs> yeah. of, of the two things. You like that? I love that people dress up for these all the time. It would be great, like, people watching to see everybody come out in all the costumes and everything. And, and let's be honest. You are a costume person. I didn't know this about you until recently. What? Yeah. You should know, know this about me the moment you meet me. Well, you're always so professionally dressed. I mean, we were just talking about the shoes. I don't want to make this the fashion segment or anything all of a sudden because I don't know anything about that. But I know that you're like, you get all dressed up. In, well, last year you dressed up as Spider-Man and went over the edge of this building. And this afternoon I'll be going over the building. Are you going to do that again? I've chosen to be a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> See what I mean? Okay, when you get done with that, go down to Konnichiwa <laughs> and hang out there. They would love to see you there. They would love to see me as a Ninja Turtle. Really cool. I think it's going to be kind of fun. Uh, let's talk about something else that's going on in Tucson, the Piano Bash. I didn't know what this was, but this sounds like a lot of fun to me. Take seven of Tucson's finest pianists, or pianists if you prefer, yeah. and put them together with the Tucson Symphony Orchestra, and what do you get? You get Piano Bash. Oh. And they're going to be blazing music. I mean, if you love the keys, if you love the ivories, um, you're going to love this show. It's tonight. Oh, it's tonight. At the TCC Music Hall, 7.30 p.m. show. But I think it's going to be cool. I think that's another good collab. You know what I mean? Bring in a bunch of the pianos. Yeah. Yeah, that's put cool. it all together. Tonight, 7.30. And then mm -hmm. what about uh, their next one? Are you a movie person? I'm kind of a movie person. I would love to watch more movies, but I don't get around I know, to it. I don't either. But at, uh, at the uh, Harkins Spectrum 18 over off of I-19 this weekend, they've got a really cool event. It's called the Tucson Cine Mexico 2017. This is the longest running festival in the United States that celebrates contemporary Mexican films. So it's a big Mexican film festival. And it's all weekend, today, tomorrow, Sunday. And here's the crazy part, it's free. Oh, it's free. Free. Oh. And if it's free, it's for we. <laughs> you and me. You know what I mean? It's for we. Okay. That's kind of a cool thing going on at the Harkins all this weekend. And the, these are movies I'm sure that you otherwise wouldn't have a chance to see on the big screen. I think it's kind of cool when they put together film festivals because yeah. sometimes there'll be stuff that gets out there that you'll hear about later. Yep. But a lot of times it's stuff that you'd never find really anywhere else. You yep. could turn other people on to it. That's awesome. I like that. One more um, event outside. Let's go back outside. You want to? Yeah, this is uh, out in my neck of the woods. 
Are you a Moraner? Is that what we're called? I don't know. Um, <laughs> a Moranan? Did you just make that Actually, up right now? Actually, you know what? Now that you say that, I have no idea what people who live in Morana call themselves. Uh, I will call my people and I will ask, <laughs> ask them what we call ourselves because okay. I'm not sure. Here's, a Morananite. <laughs> could be. What we do know is that it's Morana, not Morana, as yes. uh, the outsiders call it. The outsiders. So over at Ora May Harn Park tomorrow, this is an all-day event. This is going to be a big throwdown. There's a big parade. It's Morana Founders Day. And I think it's the 40th anniversary they've been doing this thing. So there's a big parade at 10 o'clock. They've got about 70 different entries. You'll see everything from tractors to floats to bands and everything in between, which is kind of cool. And then they throw a big throw down pancake breakfast. Who doesn't like that? That's they'll have a reason some, to go. They'll have some games, they'll have some live music, they'll have food vendors, they'll have a beer garden. And then there's a big car show. Oh, they got a lot thing going on. Kind of a cool thing. Yeah. So you, Morana Nights, Morana, Morana Nosens. Morana. <laughs> Moranians. Mor oh, I like that one. That one's got a uh, ring to it. I don't maybe. know if I like that. You don't like that one? Moranans, I think, might be the Moranans. best. Anyway, that should be kind of fun. Tomorrow. I'll check with my peeps. Another free event and outside in the beautiful weather. You gave us a lot of free stuff, stuff inside, outside. Budget friendly, family friendly. That's the way we like it on 94.9 Mix yep. FM. Ooh, did you did you see what just happened right there? Did you see what just happened? Let me do more of that. You can listen to 94.9 Mix FM every weekday morning to catch ah. Greg and Mrs. Grant on the morning mix. To learn more, log on to mixfm.com. And as always, we'd be glad to mention your event next Friday. Just send a message to our Facebook page with all of the details.